Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the T-Motor F100 1100KV motor. In this video I'm going to quickly go over its features and specs, perform a thrust test using 7, 8, 9 and 10 inch propellers and after assembling a set of these motors on this 7 inch build, head outdoors and test it out. First of all, the T-Motor F100 motors are available in two KV options. 1350KV and 1100KV, which is the version that I'm going to test in this video. Both versions are compatible with up to 6S batteries when pushing 7 or 8 inch propellers. As for packaging, inside the box along with the motor you can find some stickers, a bag with a sleeve for protecting the motor wires, and another bag that contains screws for securing the motor on your frame, two spare rubber o-rings, a heat shrink, two motor nuts and another spur screw for securing the stator to the motor bell. As for its specs, the F100 motor weighs 67.3 grams including the full length of its 25 cm long 18 gauge silicone coated wires. It's using a 19 by 19 mm motor mounting pattern and the motor bell is secured to the stator using a hex screw. Inside the motor bell you can find 14 magnets, the motor shaft is hollow, the motor is using a rubber o-ring on the motor shaft in order to reduce vibrations, and on the top side of the motor bell you can find a grip pattern for better securing the propeller. As for the stator, its diameter is 28mm and its height is 10mm, so this is a 2810 motor. Now after this quick introduction, the next thing that I've done is to bench test the F100 motor on my motor's thrust end. I've tested it using 7, 8, 9 and 10 inch propellers and using the power supply I set the voltage to 16, 21 and 24 volts and unfortunately due to some limitations of my power supply I wasn't able to test the 9 and 10 inch propellers using 24 volts and even some data is missing for the 21 volt settings. Overall, after testing it out, I can tell you that even though originally the F100 motor is intended to be used on heavier X8 sin lifters, which unfortunately I still don't have, it can still be a pretty good option for 7 or preferably 8 inch builds, as it is pretty powerful and efficient, so it can be a good upgrade over a 28 or 7 motor, as according to my experience, it is going to provide you with more power, but still remains relatively efficient. Now I'm going to wrap up this video with the thrust test, which its results are included in the description box down below, and then show you some flight footage. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.